hi guys how you doing welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good because i'm doing i don't know how i'm doing to be honest this is a cry for help you guys should save me save me <laughs> anyway you guys i am still trying and testing out this background okay and the lighting and stuff like that so if anything looks off just ignore it okay because i'm still trying to test out all of this setup but yeah how you guys doing so today i'm going to be answering some of your questions specifically the questions i got about my previous house helps that i had in nigeria before i came to the uk okay basically questions about amarachi and elizabeth i've shown them on my channel several times so aside questions about oh your friend nello the most questions i got were about amarachi and elizabeth okay and in case you missed it nello and i actually had a live stream i'll either link it down below or you guys can just go and check ada and nello on court we had a live stream where we answered most of your questions okay but simple and short in case you know too long do not read there's nothing going on between us we were just busy that period okay and i forgot to film you know videos with us together okay so we were busy i was traveling she was traveling and the few times that we had and we spent together none of us thought to bring up phone and start vlogging okay but we took a picture on the day they had a send forth for me like a mini send forth very nice very cute nello organized it yeah she took a picture of it and that's the only evidence if not this internet people will come and be, be putting all kinds of theories together <laughs> but yeah that's it about nello okay and you know your questions about her because at least 50 percent of the questions i got about this relocation and stuff we are about nello and i was like you guys should calm down now it's not that deep <laughs> it's that deep actually but anyway i just did a previous q a about you know how we got the house and details about the house and how we brought our stuff from nigeria here you know and what i'm using what i'm not using what i regret carrying all those questions i answered them in a previous video so if you haven't watched them i will link them down below but yeah so the format i use is that i will first give you guys the story and then any questions that my story does not cover i will answer those questions separately okay does that make sense i'm sure it does let's dive right into it okay can you guys tell that my spirit is not as high as i'm trying to make it sound i'm actually tired i actually want to go and sleep so about amarachi and elizabeth i even answered this question in that q a but let me just elaborate on it further okay so in january last year i enrolled elizabeth for a culinary school or in a culinary school i enrolled her for that not a cheap one by the way like in fact, the money we spent on that her culinary school, we have not spent it on Amarachi yet, I think. Like, if I calculate how much I've spent on Amarachi, well, maybe it's now the same, it now, it's now almost the same thing. Like, Amarachi is in her third year in university, okay? So, if I calculate how much I've paid for Amarachi school fees from first year to now and some other things, it's not up to what I paid for Elizabeth's culinary school. So, she went to a culinary school and it was for six months. They had classes for three months, but I chose the one for six months so that she can do both baking and cooking and she can stay longer so that she can decide the one that she wants to do afterwards, okay? So, um, she did that in January last year because if you guys have watched my previous videos I've told you guys about how I don't allow people to stay in my house and not have any plan for the future it's it's on the back of my home okay <laughs> that, I don't know how to explain it in English it makes me uncomfortable if somebody is just in my house just lounging you don't have any plan or you're, I don't think or you're not telling me any of your plans it makes me uncomfortable because I'm like hope I'm not your plan please like <laughs> okay so i was never looking for someone that would come to my house and stay forever i was never looking for someone that would come to my house and stay even five years okay because me after one year it's like okay what's next i'm not the kind of person that likes to stay around somebody for too long okay like go and do your own thing i feel like distance makes the heart grow, grow fonder so after like one year i'm like okay what are you doing in fact whenever i got a new help the first day you come i'm going to ask you what are your plans okay and i'm going to remind you of those your plans so don't think that you just come and give me one bubble gist and then we'll Forget about it no okay, if you tell me oh my plan is that i want to go to school i will ask you about that school tire in fact you must go to that school <laughs> She be said at school you won't go. You must go to that school. If you say you want to start business, you must start that business. So you cannot just stay in my house and be lounging. Okay. So yeah, Elizabeth, when she first came, she said she wanted to go to school. So from my house, she even wrote Wayek. Um, from my house, she was supposed to write jam, and then time for jam came and she said she didn't want to write jam initially i thought it was just fear of writing jam so she didn't write jam the first year she was supposed to write the next year so i was like okay fine you write the next year so the next year came around and i was like how far now she said you know she doesn't want to do jam anymore she doesn't want to go to school she wants to start business i was like okay what kind of business do you want to start so she wanted to go and sell food stuff but to be honest all the things she was telling me they sounded like 
I don't want to, I mean, because you guys know her, I don't want to go too much into details. But let me just say that I wanted more for her than what she wanted for herself or what she could envision for herself. So I really wanted more for her. I tried to discourage her. I said, think big, okay? Think big. I tried to just give her the options of just go and think as big as you can think and come and, and come back to me, okay? Even the little talk to her, you know, we just told her, see, don't limit yourself. Don't think with your surrounding or, you know, where you came from. Think big. Okay, if you want to do business, what kind of business do you want to do that is big enough to sustain your life and, you know, make you happy in life and then will help you achieve it, okay? I even had to allow her go and help one woman that was doing the kind of business that she wanted to do. Just go and help the woman and then try and see how how much the woman makes just to put things in perspective okay because sometimes you see all these stores like all these roadside stores and you think they have money they don't really have money okay forget that thing people say oh it's provisions many of them are still living hand to mouth okay many of them cannot even afford you know their children's school fees they have to pay school fees with their job yes and they are selling every day like their shops are always full so it's not as easy as just seeing somebody having a shop and thinking that you know it's profitable so i told her to go to that shop and you know she went there for like a month and then came back and you know she she used her eyes to see that okay this thing is not as profitable as i thought so and after that okay i'm not saying you should not do business so if you want to do business it's fine it's not my life okay it's still what you want to do with your life however i wish for you to learn a skill so i now give her the option to choose between cooking and sewing and i said okay choose one do you want to go to culinary school or do you want to go to sewing school and she said she wanted culinary school and i was like okay fine because if you know elizabeth elizabeth is a service person okay elizabeth knows how to serve okay she knows how to like take care of things she knows how to serve she knows how to you know i don't know how to explain it she's she's i miss her Sha. i miss her to be honest she's kind of person that if you tell her okay every saturday morning we're going to be eating akara every saturday morning and eh, she's going to make sure she will prepare everything because i make the akara myself she will make sure she prepares everything you don't need to remind her okay if you tell her every tuesday evening we're going to be eating maybe eba and this every tuesday evening is going to be set and she will serve you very well you know so she's very good at serving so i was like okay i think culinary school will work better for her even though when it comes to the actual cooking she still had a long way to go you know more exposure and stuff i was like okay that means the best thing for you to do is go to culinary school because you know it will work well with your natural skill set so yeah she went to culinary school and after six months when she was done in june of last year 2023 i called her and asked her okay what is your plan now i remember <laughs> i remember someone was even telling me then that why am i asking her what is her plan when i don't want like if you don't want the person to go, why are you asking them what their next plan is? Wouldn't they at least stay and, you know, work for you some more, knowing that you just paid, you know, this amount of money for them to do culinary school? Wouldn't you allow the person to stay first, work, work for you very well before you not start asking the person what next? But me personally, I was like, I was already getting uncomfortable. She has stayed in my house at that point for like two years and I know she's not that young. So I was already getting uncomfortable. I didn't want her to just be idle again. After going to culinary school, you now come back and come and be taking care of my children. And one thing I kept telling them, even that last year, somehow it was almost as if I knew, funny enough. It's almost as if I knew. Thank God though. Because that last year, I kept telling them that, okay, now it's not that I even knew I was going to leave, right? But I knew that Sophia was turning three last year. And for me, once a child turns three, that child is no longer a baby or a toddler that you say you need eyes on that baby or that toddler 247, okay? So for me, and especially since Sophia was already going to school, I felt like time is going and your my need for you in my house is reducing, okay? So I didn't want a situation where the person would leave my house without achieving much because my plan was never for anybody to stay in my house forever, okay? Because I remember that. And I kept telling them, you guys should better arrange your life very well because Sophia is already growing. You guys can see she's growing. She's, in, she's becoming more independent, okay? At some point, you guys are going to... In fact, even if you are still in my house, you are going to be uncomfortable because you're not cleaning, you're not taking care of baby, you are just there. Oh, yeah, you, you prepare food sometimes, you sweep sometimes, you help the kids sometimes. But at, at that point, you're going to see that you are needed less and less and you're not doing anything for yourself. So that was why I was on her neck when she finished that. Okay, what's the next? What's your plan? What's, what's the next plan? And she was like, okay, she was going to start her business in April of this year and she wanted to start her business in her hometown. So she wanted to start a restaurant or open a restaurant in her hometown. To be honest, let me just be honest. When she told me that, I was like... Anyway, <laughs> why your hometown? Like, I, I don't, I'm not saying you should not leave my house, so, but 
why your hometown? Why why not in Port Harcourt where you can make money? You know, I was always all about where you can grow your business and make money. But I noticed that she wanted to go back home. Okay, even because of her mom as well, she wanted to go back home. So I was like, okay, no wahala now in April. Then you know, we'll walk towards it in April. You leave and you know, set up your business and all of that. Only for her in July to come and miss me and tell me that she has changed her mind and she wants to leave in December. And mind you, I was ready for her to leave my house. So it's not like I was you know feeling bad that she was going to leave. No, I wasn't even looking for a replacement for her. Okay, even when she told me she was going to leave in April, I was not even looking for a replacement for her. In my mind, if she had left in April, I would have just stayed with the kids myself. And my auntie will come back on weekends and help and during the holidays, and we'll still have our cleaner. I still had my assistants for my YouTube, so I knew that I could cope without elizabeth and not get a replacement okay so her leaving my house in april was never a problem but when she now came and told me oh it's now december i was like why the change of heart i wanted to start feeling some type of will i started looking at her sideways like why did you change your mouth like that but again i thought about it it's possible that the way i was asking her what are you doing next maybe she was already getting uncomfortable and she wanted to leave earlier than we discussed or whatever anyway whatever the story was i was fine with it because again like i said i wasn't looking for a replacement for her the truth is that if you stay with elizabeth eh, you'll be so dependent on her let me just let me just put it out there if you stay with her you'll be so dependent on her because she's very very efficient okay she will remind you of things she would put things in place you don't have to tell her to do something twice you don't have to teach her some things you know more than once okay so if you stay with her you'll be very very dependent on her because she's very very good like that okay however i knew that even if she had left my house i wouldn't have died okay i've stayed without help before in fact i stayed without help and i was pregnant and i had a toddler and i did not die so having three um, almost grown kids i mean cora was turning eight ava was turning six sophia was turning three so it's like i will be fine okay so yeah when she told me she was going to leave in december i mean it's kind of touched me a bit but i was like it's fine nami nami kosa <laughs> <laughs> Nami Kosan, they warned me, oh. Nami Kosan, but you know, I was totally fine with it. My husband was fine with it as well. My husband, in fact, has never really been a fan of having help around. So to him, it's like whether there's help or there's no help, we'll be fine, okay? So yeah, that was it about Elizabeth. And then, as God will have it, in August, my husband got the job that brought us to the UK. So everything just worked out so perfectly. It even worked out more perfectly than I would have anticipated, okay? If I were to try and orchestrate things myself, it wouldn't have worked out as perfectly as they worked out you know, basically by God, okay? Because it's God, it's God, as far as I'm concerned, it's God. They wouldn't have worked out so well because if she has stuck to her April plan, I would have had trouble leaving in December. Like, not like I wouldn't have left, though. no, I would have still left, but I would have been looking for, you know, what will I do with her? How do I settle her? How do I find a place for her? If she's not ready to start her business immediately, where will she go? Who will she go to? But the fact that she had already made up her mind to leave that December, and then we too were leaving. In fact, she left the day we left, okay? So she was in our house, and then we left for the airport. That, not the day we left, the day we were supposed to leave, okay? So that 21st, we left for the airport, and she, she left for her, you know, village, okay? So everything worked out chef's kiss. <laughs> everything worked out so sweet so nice i was really really happy about it okay but yeah she started her business now she even sent me pictures the other day she started her business it's not what i wanted for her but it's something that i feel makes her happy because eventually she's still doing almost what she wanted to do but this time she has like a mini restaurant in the same space so she's selling stuff like she wanted to sell but she has a mini restaurant there so she says she cooks in the mornings you know and she sells stuff but yeah it's good for a start okay i'm happy for her no bad blood we're good you know we talk once in a while but yeah i'll always continue to support her for people that have been asking you know why i did not bring my helps here because i got that question a lot why didn't you carry your helps why didn't you carry your helps i was like for what reason okay what would i be carrying them here as is it as care workers or as my nannies how uh, what was the logic I, I, I didn't even think about it that's just the truth i didn't even consider it one bit because mind you uk is not like nigeria where in nigeria the person can just quickly run to their family the person can just quickly go home see their mom and come back the person can you know have friends around no i can imagine if i had brought them here they would have been depressed that's just the truth they would have been depressed maybe not as depressed as you know someone that just came on their own right because i mean we're with a family but i don't think they would have coped really well if i had brought them here okay so maybe in the future if i see that okay this place would be a good place for them and i can help them to to come here or go to any other country then i'll always help them okay but bringing them as my help i don't
don't know it just sounded one kind to me okay that was why i did not even consider that option and again because they already have things that they are doing they already have goals that they set for themselves why do i want to derail that goal and bring you here derail that goal even further because i won't just bring you here and you'll get work the next day no i'll bring you here and you and you'll be helping me here so that was why i didn't even consider it okay and as for amarachi amarachi is actually in school for amarachi's case right if amarachi had actually finished school right if she had finished school i would have 100 percent look for a way to bring her here if she has finished school because i know that okay at least she has her first degree she can get a transitional job even if it's not like you know her dream job but at least a transitional job that will help her get her foot in here i would have tried that for her even tried the school route maybe for her to come and do masters here or something i would have 100 percent done that for amarachi if she had finished school as as when we were living but since she has not finished school i will not derail her education and bring her here to come and do what so for me amarachi is in a good place right so we are still taking care of her school fees we are still taking care of her upkeep nello actually even volunteered to take amarachi under her wings okay like not like take over amarachi per se but you know if amarachi needs a place to stay during holidays or wants to go somewhere on the weekend she can always go to nello's house um so that was the arrangement we had before we left um so she's in school right now she's doing well pay her school fees i still give her her monthly upkeep and yeah we talk once in a while as well but that's it right so there's no bad blood between us everybody is fine everybody's doing well wherever they are and i'm happy about that and i'm happy that you know we all left in good terms i didn't chase anybody from my house <laughs> they did not run away from my house because i don't like that i don't like sending people out of my house even though i've sent a number of people out but i don't like that i don't like it okay there was one person that i saw her picture recently and i was like hmm i'll call her one day and just you know find out how she's doing and maybe just send her money or, and stuff it is that my help that was manifesting in the kitchen if you guys can remember this is an old story i had a help that was manifesting in the kitchen i saw her video recently and i was like hmm maybe if i if i still because i still have a number maybe if i remember one of these days i'll just call her and you know ask her for her account details and just send her money because you know she was okay even though I couldn't have dealt with someone that was manifesting like that but she wasn't a bad person but yeah I like the fact that I did not chase anybody away from my house and they did not run away from my house and right now we are still cool if we see ourselves anywhere tomorrow I mean me and Elizabeth if we see ourselves anywhere tomorrow we're going to hug we're going to be happy um, me and Amarachi that one Amarachi is my picking anyhow anyhow she does Amarachi is my picking <laughs> I, don't, I don't carry picking so yeah I'm just going to answer this question right now the question is are you going to hire a nanny or a cleaner so about a nanny no i am not going to hire a nanny i'm just waiting for when sophia can start school officially i actually got a child minder child care place for sophia but she's only going to be going there once a week okay because i couldn't get more slots for her but hopefully you know as she starts going there they will look for more days to chuck her in it's not cheap but we have to pay per day and per day we are paying almost 40 pounds per day to keep her there mind you they're not providing food or anything i'm the one that's going to be putting her lunch and every other thing so we are paying almost 40 pounds and she's going to be there from 8 30 to two o'clock or past two yeah 8 30 to 2 30 and we're paying 40 pounds so it's not cheap but i want her to have at least two or three days because so is this that let's say now i take her to school on monday then th Tuesday, when she now wakes up, and I tell her, no, no school today. Then Wednesday, no, no school today. Thursday, no, no school today. Won't I give her trust issues? <laughs> <laughs> want to give the child trust issues because it's not be like okay I, I go to school i don't know but anyway i wish they can just find more days for her if they're able to find at least one more day even if it's just one more day for her to be going to daycare i will be fine okay i just need at least one or two days for myself you know but sophia is grown sophia is not she's not disturbing me as much as you know she would have if she was younger right so once i give her breakfast she has lots of toys to play with she has things to watch it's because her father is around now that's why she has not interrupted me if her father wasn't around sophia would, would be under my leg <laughs> she used to be like a puppy sometimes anywhere i am she wants to follow me if i'm in the office she'll come and stay under the table if i'm in the room she'll come and stay on my body not even just beside me it's on my body that she wants to stay right and part of the reason why i even want her to start going out more is that i noticed that whenever we go to pick eva or cora when other parents see her and say or other children see her and say hi she'll kind of recoil she'll kind of you know remove her face and i'm like eh what happened to my jovial sophia that's always smiling at everybody you know so mm -mm. i'm like nope 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 she has to go out so that's why i found that child minder place for her then i'm also going to start taking her to library and other places i mean we go out with you know her sisters we go out more often but i want her to interact with other children aside her sister so that she's not so you know shy um, around 
other people but yeah that's why i'm not going to get a nanny right and if i'm actually able to get her another slot like another day for her to go to school it will help me with the cleaning okay so i'll be able to have like another day to just clean i actually like cleaning to be honest so cleaning for me is like relaxation somehow not totally but somehow it's like it's like relaxation for me so if i'm able to just get sophia out of the house and Put on music or put on something and be listening to or watching while i clean the house that would be a self-care day for me like i would actually consider that a self-care day while the other day that she goes to school will be my sleeping day just sleep i'm not even trying to achieve much that day i want a day where it's just wake up in the morning drop them drop everybody where they're supposed to be dropped <laughs> come back home lie down and sleep till time to pick them up and yeah hopefully it works out like that for me as for cleaners yes i want to get cleaners even if it's for them to clean once a week i want to get cleaners okay but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye guys